Robert, John Williams and the breadth of his music and the many decades over which he has been at the top, how do you sum up his achievements in the music world and the film music world? Well, I guess as he's the premier living film composer. He's been working solidly since the 50s. He started as a jazz pianist in the studio orchestras. I mean, as a pianist, all round fine pianist, you know, playing under Andre Previn in, in the MGM 20th Century Fox. And then just gradually, you know, rose and rose and rose through his sheer talent and hard work to really, I mean, define uh, film music, uh, especially through his collaboration with Steven Spielberg. And the concerts we do with the RPO have all of the big hits. Of course, Star Wars, of course, Superman, E.T., Jaws, all the ones that, that people want to hear. The wonderful thing I find about conducting this music is that it's so incredibly well written for the orchestra. The orchestra loves playing it. It's very challenging. Uh, but it really gives them uh, the breadth to show everything that they can do. As a conductor, you look at the scores, and of course, they're very complex, but in a way, they're so well written, I always get the feeling of like looking at blue skies when I look at one of his scores, because you can hear, by looking at it, exactly what it's supposed to sound like. Mm -hmm. And you get in front of the orchestra, and they deliver, especially this orchestra, because uh, we've done it a lot together. And it gives it, it also it gives a lot of room for interpretation, which is not always the case with film music. But you can you can work with this music a great deal, so it's very satisfying to perform. So the secret of a good film score, from your point of view, is not just about having a memorable tune, mm. which of course most will have that melody that people will remember when they leave the cinema. But there's more to it. It's the musicality. It's the way it works for an orchestra's point of view. Oh, and from my from my point of view, it's very much that. There's lots of film scores we've performed which are just a tune and don't really engage the orchestra as much as they can. John Williams, as a composer, engages the orchestra as much as any composer has, really classical or film or anything. And so it's very satisfying to do. Uh, the other thing I remember, we did a concert in Northampton of the John Williams music, and afterwards this. I was going to my car and this, this guy rode up on his motorcycle and said, excuse me, I said, what's that? And he said, I just wanted to say, you know, I had come to here before, uh, I heard somebody's piano concerto and it was nice and everything and I just said to myself, I really would love to come back and hear something that I know. And I came back tonight and I absolutely loved this concert. I went, that's great. And then he roared off into the night and I thought, this is what it's about. It was really great. You listed most of the famous ones there. Is there one that stands out for you, or is it just too difficult to pick one above It's others? hard to pick one. I always love the flying theme from E.T. because it's such, it, it does lift off, you know, in, in the same way that that bicycle lifts off. But, you know, every one of the uh, film scores goes straight to the heart of the film. Jaws, it's the shark. Star Wars, it's the big, you know, vista throughout outer space. Uh, E.T., of course, you see the spaceship. Uh, Schindler's List, absolutely the opposite, something incredibly uh, moving and intimate. So he's, it's just, it's a wonderful concert because you, you don't keep hitting the same note all the time. You get all sort of levels of emotional and musical engagement, and it's, you know, it's a great night out.